Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys just kind of quickly how I prepare my two turtle tubs for for when I go away on vacation. So I'm going to be gone from Sunday to Friday and in that time I'm going to need my turtles to be fed twice. So there's a couple things that I'm going to want to do in order to better prepare them. Turtles can naturally go a very long time without eating, actually. A lot of people don't realize that. However, in order to avoid aggression or any issues, I like to keep my turtles well fed, just if you can, and I like to feed them about every other day, possibly every two days if you're going to be gone for a long time and the person that you're getting to watch your turtles has other obligations. So I'm going to be gone from Sunday to Friday, so I'm going to feed them tomorrow, which is Sunday morning, and then I will have them fed on Tuesday and on Thursday. So in order to better prepare my turtles for vacation, the first thing that I like to do is give them a nice big water change. Now this is because I don't have the people that I have come watch my turtles feed them in separate enclosures simply because it's too stressful for the turtles. It's too much work for the individual. Because I'm going to have the turtles fed in their enclosures, I know that the water's gonna get kind of fouled up. And so in order to avoid any real big water quality issues, I like to clean everything before I leave. That way it kind of has a fresh start and the water is nice and new. So with that said, I will now begin draining and changing the water on this tub. I apologize for the lack of sufficient lighting, but I just kind of want to show you guys, keep things very real and show you exactly how I do things because that's what you people are here for. So we take this hose. This is how I begin my normal water changes. I simply take this, stick it on the outflow of my filter, and it is now sucking water. So I take this hose, send it down to the bottom, generally down there, and now we wait. I will probably end up unplugging the filter and the heater because the water level is going to get kind of low but I'm not going to take the filter out to clean it simply because I don't think it's necessary because I just cleaned it less than a week ago. So as we can see the water level is getting nice and low and soon I'm going to actually try something new and see if I can transition that hose from here down into Jelly, the spotted turtle's enclosure, and see if I can get the same siphon to suck up this water rather than having to do it by hand because the siphon will be able to get a lot more than I pretty much could with just a small solo cup and my bin. So I was able to successfully move the tube over here. The water level is nice and low. So now I'm gonna go get the hose. And as I'm filling this up, I'm going to hand fill up Jelly's tub. I have now switched out the hose that I use for draining the tub with the spigot that I use for filling it. So now I need to go ahead and begin the filling process. These guys are not too happy, but in the long run, it's good for them. Also, make sure to add your declor. That seems like about enough. Always do a little extra. So I have now turned on the hose and I have it filling. As you can see, the water is coming out from over there. I also have the heater on, making sure it's submerged. That way it warms the water as it fills. All right, everyone. So we're just kind of winding down here. The lights are off. I am beginning to dim them. The turtles are beginning to calm down and the water level's nice and high. Now, if I was going for more than just a couple days, I would fill up the water level a little bit more just to adjust for evaporation, but I'm not gonna be gone for that long, so I'm not really too worried about it. Little Jelly's enclosure is also all filled up. Here he is in the back, a rare sighting as he does not like to come out very often but he is in here and he is growing, but he's just not as friendly as these little fellas. Hi, LT Gray. Hello, Bean and Pancake, his lovely, strange self. So that's about it for tonight's work. I am now going to take a proportionate amount of food 
and leave them in some cups. So all my friends have to do is open the door, walk in, dump food in there, and food in there. And then that will pretty much be it. Good morning, turtle nerds. So it is about seven o'clock in the morning. I just woke up, kind of got myself ready. I still need to put on a shirt and whatnot. But if you look right down here, I have about an inch and a half to two inches of water and a bunch of hatchling formula. And now we need to find a little jelly to pull him out to eat. And what I did was I slowly opened the blinds and then uh, kind of turned on this light slowly um, just to kind of gradually wake all of the turtles up as to not shock them because then they probably wouldn't want to eat. So we plop him in here and now I just leave him for a couple minutes so he can eat. So now that little jelly has been allotted about, I don't know, 10 to 12 minutes to eat. We're gonna pop him back in here let him take his own breath of water. And now we're gonna prepare this tub for these guys, which basically just means I'm gonna fill it a little bit more. I actually don't think I even have to. So we just move it over here and I'm gonna throw in some adult food. All right, come here, buddy. And now we're gonna leave El Tigre to eat for a little bit. And I'm going to begin preparing the other food for when people come to feed. Teague's is very clearly finished. We pop him back in. Let's grab Pancake next. And now I'm gonna show you the food I've measured out. So it's, I'm gonna be gone for about five days. So every other day, uh, this is Jelly's food. This is the big guy's food. I'm gonna have a friend come grab a cup little food just tosses in there towards the back and for the big fellas that just toss in the tub i'm really making this idiot proof because if you can you're better off measuring the amount that you want someone to feed for every day uh, and not just giving them something to go off of which is what i would normally do because I have tried that before and people tend to really either over or under feed rather than estimating pretty well uh, because it may not really seem like it but you've pretty much trained yourself to know how much your turtle likes to eat so you know more than anyone and so you're better off just pre-measuring the amounts rather than leaving it up to someone. So while Bean is over there finishing up eating I have put the cups of food in a Ziploc bag just to better seal it. That way the food stays nice and fresh and it doesn't spoil or attract any bugs. So now to really ensure that everyone's eaten well, I'm going to scoop up some of this food. Uh, and because I just did a water change yesterday, I'm not really worried about foul in the water, I really want these guys to eat well. Because turtles will eat much better in their enclosure than they will in a separate tub, but I still like to feed in a separate tub just because it stays so much cleaner. Uh, it's really worth it, I find, to feed in a separate enclosure. And only feed in the enclosure if you have high powered filtration, which I also recommend. So we're just gonna let those guys eat and I'm gonna clean this up and wash my hands and pretty much finish packing. As you guys can see, they ate to their content, allegedly, yet they're still chowing down. The turtles actually ate a lot less of that food than I thought that they would. So as you can see, little tigres just kind of polishing up the last of the pellets. Uh, I actually had to pull a bunch out because they were not eating them. They were not really hungry. And the less hungry they get, they get much sloppier with the food. You're normally going to want to very clearly label and mark the cup and the bag that you have. But I have a friend who has done this before and therefore they know what they're doing. So I don't really have to be as thorough, but still trying to make it as idiot proof as possible, as I like to say. All 
Okay, so now I am back from my vacation. It is Friday at about 5.30. And as we can see, the turtle tub is a little bit cloudy, which is to be expected because the turtles were being fed in their enclosure. And this was only two times being fed in the enclosure. And you can see it's kind of cloudy here. And we can see a bunch of little baby guppies were born. So I'm gonna fish those guys out and put them down here in a more habitable environment. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to do some maintenance after getting back and what I pretty much need to do in order to get this tub nice and clean again. Now from just two feedings, we can see just how dirty these filters have gotten. So I am just cleaning this out and then I'm just gonna perform another water change and we'll be all set. So here I am just kind of pumping out the water. I have started the siphon and it's right down there. I'm churning up the gravel and it's going right out the window outside. So I have drained this tub and drained this tub to points where I wanted to. And now I have my hose in here, just filling it back up. And I found my goldfish actually over here in Jelly's tub, the spotted turtle. So I guess sometime over the break, he hopped on over. So that's interesting. Here's the tub all filled up. I have the filter running, freshly cleaned out. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of food particles because now that I have a substrate, I want to be extra thorough as I clean this enclosure and want to make sure that I do a diligent job every time that I clean it as to not cause a buildup of ammonia or any nitrates or anything bad like that that can rot and decay in this tub. But as you can see, the turtles are perfectly fine. They're doing well, just swimming around. And now that the water level's nice and filled up, they're probably gonna have some fun exploring and a little jelly as well. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like to let me know that I did a good job and comment down below pretty much any of your thoughts, questions, or suggested videos that you have for me. Hit the little bell thingy if you want to be notified when I make a new video. And thank you all again so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.